convent will be the house of the sick, your cell, a hired room, your chapel, the parish church, your cloister, the streets of the city, or the wards of the hospital. These are the words of St. Vincent de Paul to a widowed lady, who came to him for spiritual guidance. Born illegitimate, a social outcast, denied admission in a Capuchin convent, yet by divine guidance chosen to become the foundress of the religious congregation, the Sisters of Charity, this is the life of St. Louise de Marillac. Louise was born and raised in Paris. At that time, nearly one in six citizens would die of poverty-related conditions or diseases. Louise was called to change that. Louise was born as the illegitimate daughter of Louis de Marillac and her mother died in her infancy. Because of her royal connections, the education Louise received was among the finest available at the time. She applied to the Paris Order of Capuchins, but was denied entrance. Her family advised her to marry Antoine Le Gras, a young man with royal connections which she obeyed. The marriage produced one child, Michelle. When she was 32, her husband too died. It is at that time God guided her to, Saint Vincent de Paul. Together, these two pious saints would lastingly change the world. Louise began a ministry to the poor of Paris, taking four young poor women into her home, and teaching them to serve those in need. These were the first sisters of the Company of the Daughters of Charity, founded when Louise was 44 years old. Saint Louise continued her work and direction of her sisters until the day of her death at age 68. Her incorrupt body lies in the chapel of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, Rue du Bac, Paris. Thank you.